okay hey what's going on you guys welcome back to another video today we are going to be going over 10 things that you could do if you're ever bored in fortnite battle royale now with fortnite being a battle royale game it, it tends to get a little bit repetitive at times so I, I compiled a list of some things that you could do in fortnite itself that might just cure your boredom but just like always guys if you do enjoy today's video at any moment feel free to consider leaving a like it helps me out so much let's see if we could smash 5,000 likes on today's video that would be insane as well while you're down there if you do enjoy my content and you would like to see more feel free to subscribe and also turn on those post notifications and let me know something that you do in fortnite to help cure your boredom anyways guys without further ado let's hop right on in to today's video to kick things off one of my most favorite things to do in fortnite when i'm bored is to go into a battle labs game by myself usually or maybe with a friend or two if they're online and run around loot up get the best loot that i possibly can and you will find these bot grenades on the ground now they're not like the the decoy grenades that we do have in a regular battle royale game uh this one in the battle lab specifically these are grenades that will spawn actual bots that will shoot at you or even shoot at enemies. Now, there's a whole ton of things that you could actually do with these grenades, but what I personally love to do is to throw down a whole ton of grenades, the ones that are on my team, so they should show, like, teammate grenades, and then from there, after you have, like, 40, 60 grenades down on the ground and just bots running everywhere, you change teams and you, you try and fight all of them at once. I mean, they can't build or anything, they just shoot but this gets pretty intense. This is definitely very fun to do if you ever got to warm up your aim or even just got to burn like an extra like 20 to 40 minutes. You could literally play even the full four hours against these bots. It gets crazy. Going into the next thing to do, this one is pretty obvious and I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with this, but go into a Zone Wars lobby either with your friends or some random people. For those of you who are not familiar with Zone Wars, it's basically an end game simulator. Very, very close quarters combat and it's extremely fun. It burns a whole ton of time and you learn a lot from it honestly you get very very good at the game you get good at edits building so many key elements of fortnite that all gets gets used in this game mode if you're ever bored and you do want to play some zone wars there's a whole ton of discord servers that are meant literally only to find people who want to do zone wars as well on my twitter account if you guys don't follow me on ready quite often and i'm going to start doing it daily is hosting some zone wars games basically i'll tweet out i'll ask for ign so make sure to go drop me a follow on twitter and turn on those post notifications if you guys uh want to come play some zone wars with me the thing i like most about zone wars is every single fight is usually different and there's a whole ton of different maps there's maps where it's 100 water 80 percent water there's mountains snow there's so many different types of maps which make for so many different types of fights in the zone wars game if i'm gonna be honest this is definitely my go-to thing to do when i'm bored playing fortnite jumping into the next thing to do i'm sure a whole ton of you guys have not heard of this game mode but it's actually playing mythical goldfish dodgeball in fortnite now loki this is kind of a plug but it's definitely a game mode you have to give a try at least once or twice basically there's dodgeballs in the middle of the map uh, it's the mythical goldfish and whenever you throw these and you hit a player it does 200 damage it'll kill them instantly and if you die you can't respond till the next round so it makes it very very fun to do some dodgeball against your friends or even just random people that you find in a playground fill or even in like my own custom lobbies the mythical goldfish dodgeball is actually a game mode though that is pretty fun to play it's just like an ltm that you'll have in the regular fortnite game mode but this one, it's entirely different. It, you don't have to have any past skills involved. Literally, if you know how to throw a, a shield potion or grenade, that's all it takes in this one. So, like, literally anybody can play against anybody else. There's no higher or lower skill advantage because of building, aim, any of that sort of stuff. If you guys are interested in playing some Mythical Goldfish Dodgeball, though, with your friends or even a Playground Filler or whatever, both codes are down below in 8v8 as well as a 5v5. Fortnite Strat Roulette has got to be one of the most fun things that you could do with your friends or even by yourself in fortnite if you uh if you want to have a challenge basically what strat roulette is is a website where it'll auto generate st strategies for you to use in game so that could be like pistols only snipers only uh only green weapons you have to land at a certain part of the map there's websites that will auto generate all of the rules for you for a specific game and obviously you could change them you can enable disable some stuff trust me this is not an ad for the website there's multiple websites that you could do 
strat roulette on and it's a whole ton of fun to do with your friends i remember doing this back in the day on call of duty strat roulette where it was like you have to crawl the entire match there's so many different things and strat roulette it goes back a, a very very long time on multiple games so if you haven't heard of strat roulette I, i'm pretty surprised but it's definitely something that you have to try out at least once or twice if you're ever bored in fortnite now this one is pretty obvious and i'm sure all the guys have really done this at one point or another but just go into creative mode and you know touch up on your free building skills your tunneling or even just learn a new skill like watch a youtube tutorial of like your retake or you know tunneling strategies just overall different types of things that you could use in game to help you you know dominate the lobbies possibly even become pro one day on youtube there's whole tons of youtubers who are dedicated to only making gameplay videos that help you get better i mean i, I can name a whole ton off the top of my head who literally only post videos on you know different types of building techniques or what to do in this situation or that situation so i highly suggest maybe go watch one of them and then practice in creative mode and then possibly even use it in game and you know maybe it'll help you pick up a kill or two next time you play now this next one trust me i have done this for a total of like 14 hours uh one time because i i was just i was so dedicated but i was also so bored of the game at one point as well just go into a playground match and get a fishing rod a harpoon gun whatever you want uh get on a boat go around the entire map and literally fish out the entire map looking for the mythical goldfish now you might be like why would you fish for mythical goldfish in a playground game i mean there's literally no point wouldn't you want to be able to say to all of your friends that you are actually lucky enough to get that one in a million chance to get a mythical goldfish while in a real game i mean once you actually fish out a mythical goldfish that's something you could tell like all of your friends or people who you even play with uh, and they won't even believe you because it's just that rare to do on top of only fishing out the mythical goldfish it does give you an achievement and uh, <laughs> there's not a lot of people with that achievement as well so who knows maybe sometime in the future there will be like a custom skin or v bucks or a prize for at least unboxing or uh, fishing out that mythical goldfish the next thing to do if you're ever board in fortnite is similar to the strat roulette but this one is actually coming up with the strats yourself or doing some challenges that you've seen on youtube that you've always wanted to try out these could be challenges just like pistol only or you know not fighting or not even shooting don't even pick up a weapon pickaxing the final kill all of that sort of stuff but one that i love to do the most and is always extremely fun is to do a sky base now let's be honest how often in a game do you ever see people doing sky bases i mean like you never really ever run into people doing sky bases and the times you do it's i don't know it's like it's pretty cool because obviously the people they're taking the game not serious and they're just trying to have a good time so obviously if you're ever bored and you don't know what to do why sweat every single game like go have some fun go do a sky base and maybe even pull off a win doing it let's be honest it, it gets a little tiring when you sweat every single game so doing a sky base or doing you know just some fun challenges it's a good way to just kind of you know cool off uh, just play the game for fun and kind of give you some throwback vibes to like season one or season two the Fortnite playground fill uh, is, it's an interesting place, let's be honest here. In here, you can find multiple game modes, different types of game modes, and all types of people who are doing playground fills, usually solo queuing, looking for zone wars lobbies, box fights lobbies, turtle wars, so many different types of game modes, and you could even find multiple new friends in there as well. Every single time that I actually do a playground fill, or I guess now it's called a creative fill, I, I really don't know why they got rid of playground for battle labs, uh, because when you do battle labs fill, yeah, you're in a game with 16 other people, but it's a real lobby, and it's low-key kind of whack, so I highly suggest just doing creative fill instead. Anyways, every time I'm in the lobby in a creative fill i always find some awesome people there's usually like you know little kids or even just full grown adults who are just trolling in there and overall it's it's just a good time to you know go talk to people go even mess with some people and you know maybe dominate some zone wars lobbies with them going into the last and final thing to do if you're ever bored in fortnite is to literally just get off of the game <laughs> i mean it's a pretty simple one but it actually works because you know there's so many different games out there there's rock league there's even the new call of duty warzone there's so many different things and sometimes fortnite you just got to take a break from it come back in like an hour or two and then it'll be fun once again
Anyways guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you are new. I, I, I thought maybe this video would hopefully help some of you guys out because Fortnite, as you all know, it's kind of at an all-time low and it's very stale recently. So if you do have any other ideas what you should do if you're ever bored in Fortnite, make sure to drop it down in the comments down below. But anyways, I will see you guys next time. Peace.